Danilo Dolci was a social activist, sociologist, popular educator, and Italian poet. He is best known for his opposition to poverty, social exclusion, and the mafia in Sicily. Danilo Dolci actively participated in the global citizenship movement and was deeply influenced by nonviolent methods of Mahatma Gandhi. It was often called the Gandhi of Sicily. In 1952, Danilo Dolci went to Levetto, a very poor small town. From western Sicily, the townspeople watched him and wondered the following, why a smart man and well-educated. He had to come to live in an area where murder was a common, where the poor stole from the poor. The people had tolerated fascism for 21 years and the oppression of them may fi even more. Danilo Dolci born in the year of 1925, near Trieste in northern Italy. He was the son of a railway official who had worked in Sicily in his youth and told his family about poverty and suffering there. A place to be avoided if possible. Danilo Dolci was recruited but refused to receive training, combat and for this he was imprisoned. After the war he worked with a dynamic priest, Zeno Saltini, who had built a community for abandoned children. The connections with the mafia, however, Danilo Dolci studied architecture and urbanism in Milan and Rome, and wrote articles on the use of reinforced concrete, had a spiritual awakening experience, which led him to wonder if the goal of your life was to build luxury apartments for those who were already well off. He responded with a resounding nitrogen monoxide and remembered the stories from his father about poverty in Sicily. Dolci moved to Western Sicily and following the example of Gandhi, he first set out to list in life experiences of the people around him. He later published these stories in a series of books based on what the poor these said about themselves and their lives. Unemployment and underemployment, they were constant themes, could only get work for a mob connections, who controlled the little formal economy that existed in the area. The mob had ties to political structures, as well as with the high Roman Catholic clergy. Reverse strike. Dolci worked simultaneously on two fronts. In one he tried to provide immediate help, and in the other he tried to address the causes of poverty. In 1956, Dolci and his local friends launched a reverse strike, repairing an abandoned road for a long time. His justification for this was Article 4 of the Italian Constitution which states that all citizens have the right to work and to promote the conditions make this right effective. The day before this reverse strike, the 700 participants fasted as preparation. Dolci and 22 other people were arrested and sentenced to for months in prison. However, the judgment called to international attention about the ideas and efforts of Danilo Dolci. Dolci established an initiative of a study center, a kind of university of the people, close in spirit to secondary schools popular Danish. The goal was to dispel despair and the hopelessness that the mafia and poverty they had brought to Sicily. His work was of small and patient steps. The road has not been easy, but to future generations continue walking along the path Danilo Dolci taught us. Danilo Dolci passed away on December 30, 1997, in Trapito, Italy. His example is more alive than ever. Did you know about the life of Danilo Dolci? How valuable do you think their work has been? We would really appreciate it if you share your opinion with us in the comment box and share this video with your family and friends so that they can also know who Danilo Dolci was. Thank you very much for watching this video until the end. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like it and activate the notification bell to notify you when we publish new content. Until next time.